Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team in our London, Ohio site, and today we want to bring you some updates on our speed studies. Uh, to conduct these studies, we're using a new piece of equipment from Precision Planning called Speed Tube. Uh, this is it right here. So it basically replaces your standard seed tube. So this sits in your row unit, your meter sits up here, and basically these small fingers will grab that seed as it comes off the meter, and then it rides this rubber belt. It's an electric driven piece of equipment. Then that belt basically hand delivers it to the trench. Now the advantage of this is, is as we start going faster, say above four and a half or five mile an hour standard planting speed, we get a lot of ricochet or bounce in that seed tube. And this is going to take that bounce out of it and let us continue with the higher planting speeds and still achieve that optimum plant to plant spacing. So the first update we wanted to share with you guys are some pretty big visual differences we're seeing and that's high speed closing wheels on soybeans. So right now I'm in our uh, high speed area. This is a 10 mile an hour entry and this is with our control of two solid rubbers. Um, what I wanted to point out is really some differences we're seeing in emergence. So you can see right here in this row in front of me, we got plants that are from uh, V2 all the way to just starting to neck out, just putting their cod leadens out. We got some at unifoliate. So although we've got the plant stand, it's maybe not quite as uniform uh, in a row or plant to plant in terms of when they emerge is what we'd like to see. Now let's compare that to some of our other entries. The entry that we're sitting in now is Precision Planning's Furrow Forced entry. Um, this is their new dual stage system um, that just came out in the last year. To me, it's the one that really stood out when we we're out here scouting this plot after emergence. As you can see now, we're at that V2 going on to V3 growth stage, and almost every plant is, is at that stage, very consistent in terms of plant height and where it's at in terms of maturity um, and growth stage wise. So this one really jumped out at me as we were walking across the different entries. Um, we'll see if that equates to yield this fall, but right now it's definitely the standout. So that's the early season observations on the soybeans. Now we're gonna go over and scout some of the corn. So the first entry that we came to is the five mile an hour. So we split the planter. So the three rows on my left have the standard seed tube. The three rows on my right have precision planting's electric driven belt, which, which they call speed tube. And as we came out here and evaluated emergence, very consistent between the two entries in terms of plant to plant spacing, then also uniform emergence. So I'd say in this five mile an hour treatments, uh, at least to our eye before we get out here and measure for standard deviation, really very little difference between the entries. Let's go check out the next one. Now we've moved over to our 10 mile an hour entry. So you can see some pretty big visual differences here. On my right side is that precision planting speed tube where it's that electric driven belt. And on the left side is just our standard seed tube where gravity takes it from the meter to the ground. So that hand delivery from the meter to the ground, you can see at 10 mile an hour, it did a pretty good job in terms of maintaining plant to plant in a row spacing. On the left side where gravity basically feeds it, from the meter to the ground, you can see we got a lot of variation in plant spacing. So some pretty big gaps, uh, several doubles right here in front of me. So we know this is gonna have an impact in terms of plant stress, especially in the middle of summer, if we turn off hot and dry right around pollination. We're excited about a lot of these visual differences that we're seeing in both the corn and beans this spring after emergence. And we're gonna keep scouting these plots throughout the summer and be pretty excited to share the yield data come this fall. Thanks for watching and have a great day.